Hola amigos, espero que saludos otra vez desde Medellín. Hoy un día hermoso, mucho sol, mucho color, mucho calor, pero hermoso. Entonces, tema de hoy. Um, en la semana próxima yo voy a empezar con un curso virtual en el uh, Politécnico aquí en Medellín um, para mejorar mi entendimiento con servicio cliente. So, ese curso es casi un curso, como dice, um, vocacional para ayudar en su trabajo. Y yo he hablado un poco con este tema con uh, algunos con mis estudiantes hoy. Y ella me pregunté, ¿pero por qué? ¿Por qué tú vas a estudiar este tema y no tomar un curso en español para mejorar tu español? Entonces, eso es el tema de hoy. So, hello again from Medellín, another beautiful afternoon. I'm hiding here slightly in the shade because it's that sunny. About 30 degrees now, so it's very nice. Um, So, yeah, next week I'm going to start uh, a five-week course, like an online course. Um, it's a vocational subject on customer service. I'm going to be doing this with the, uh, the Polytechnic here in Medellin. And you may ask, well, why are you doing a, a vocational course in customer service when... Well, one, you're teaching English, and two, how's that going to help you improve your Spanish? Um, and that's the topic of today. So I'm choosing to do this rather in the spirit of, a, of an immersion, it's like a Spanish immersion. So I picked a topic, um, something I've experienced in before, because in my past life back in England, one of the types of jobs I worked in was customer service so many years experience in that so it's a topic area that I already understand it's not a brand new thing for me but of course I've never done it in Spanish so I'm going to learn a whole load of new vocabulary um, so the test for me is to see whether I can cope with this level of Spanish whether I can understand the course that's going to be in Spanish um, and obviously pass the course So I'll give you updates as I get on with that. But this video today is really to think about you know, why do I choose to do something like that instead of taking another course in Spanish to improve my Spanish. Uh, that was the question I was asked today, so this is my answer to it, and let's see if this works out. Um, I decided not to do a course in Spanish because I felt there was too much of a too much of a gap between like, book learning and let's say real life. I've noticed over the last six months or so that I've been trying to improve my Spanish. I've been relying largely on textbooks and uh, lots of reading, lots of listening. And the thing that's helped me most, I think, honestly, is the reading and the listening. Um, The textbooks are very useful because they give you model sentences to some extent, but often once it turns into vocab lists and verbs and how they change, things like that, it gets a bit technical. And I think at that point, it becomes a bit dry and a bit removed from what you really need when you're talking to real people. At least that's been my experience. So rather than go back and do like a formal course in Spanish which I know is going to be more focused on um, orthography or how to spell it properly how to get the grammar right and the rest of it um, I'm not sure that's really what I want to learn at this moment I'm not planning to go back and do a PhD in Spanish literature or something like that I and mean, if I were then that's something I'd have to really think hard about because clearly if I'm not spelling it right or the grammar's wrong that's not going to help me But I'm not looking to do that. I'm looking really just to have a more practical Spanish that I can use here in my day-to-day -day conversations. I can have better conversations with all the people I meet here. 
So I think by taking the short course I'm going to go for, I pick something that I already know about. So I'm not trying to learn a completely new subject. I'm just trying to learn about it in a different way. I'm trying to learn about it in Spanish. So I'm hopeful by doing that way, I'm going to learn a lot more new vocabulary, which is always useful. But also around that, obviously, I'm still getting to practice all the structures. So just by listening and reading more things on a particular topic, I'm always looking at how I express things in the past, the present, the future. So I'm still kind of practicing the grammar anyway, perhaps not such in a conscious way. So that's my challenge to you now, really. Um, outside of practicing, you know, I've got general dialogues and some of the things I've been suggesting over the last week or so in these other videos, you know, better ways you can say things, see if you can think of um, new ways to say what you said yesterday, are you getting the results you wanted with that kind of dialogue? Could you improve it? Could you expand that with new vocabulary that you picked up? Practicing your listening, practicing reading aloud to get more, happy, more confident in the way you sound. These kind of things. But I'm hopeful that by doing this type of immersion on a particular topic, um, it's going to give me a bit more confidence that I pick up a lot of vocabulary fairly quickly, which would be useful. And obviously if this works, I can expand this and maybe do another course or two on some other different topics and see if that will improve, you know, bit by bit. We get better on particular, uh, particular areas. But generally, um, it's to try and practice it so I, I get a more natural... Um, Oh, a natural feel for the language. I'm actually going to use it in a practical context. Not too theoretical. It's going to be just stuff I need to use for this particular type of task. So that's the challenge for the moment. If perhaps, uh, as well as the other uh, sort of day-to-day -day practice you're doing, if you get the chance to maybe try some type of vocational course, let's go with that. If there's one near you that you could do um, maybe to... Uh, learn a bit more about the job you do or something else that you already know a lot about but you haven't done a more formal study in maybe try one of the courses see if that works out I'm going to keep you posted on how I get on so wish me luck with that so for the moment at least from Medellin on this truly splendid afternoon I will say uh, cheerio for now